Okay, here's how to make a character in under two minutes. I'm gonna start fast. I already have it all set up just with my character here. Let's vector graphics with draw a pen away. Go. Just put taps where you're gonna to wanna to put a bend. Try your best to make them symmetrical. The same on either side. As always, when you click the very last spot, you close it and then you can start double tapping to make things rounded. Now let me erase what's beneath it for a second to see how it works. Hey, not bad. Command Z, put it back. Now let's make, uh, what else we need help with? Not really anything. Maybe this mouth part will do as well. The rest I'm going to do pretty much free form because it doesn't have to be the same. We're just drawing ourselves some inspiration from this character. We're not trying to actually make the exact same thing. Double tap, double tap, double tap, double tap. Now, if I grab this again, make it a little smaller. If I want to, I can double tap on the line and then I can grab the outsides and make it a little bit more elongated like this side and that side enter it in again all right now didn't want that there now a nose now start with the double taps Actually, I'm not going to double tap. I'm going to grab this one and just move it up to the same line. I'm just going to double tap this one, make it rounded. It's not quite lined up, so I could actually, you know what I'll do, I think? I'll fill it in with the quick one here, black, nice and simple. And lines up not perfectly, move it up one using these little arrow keys. There, much better. Now for the rest of it, it's dead easy. All I need to do now is add the mouth. Once again, I'm going to use the draw with pen. Tap here, tap, tap, double tap. Double tap, there we go. Click on that, Command D, duplicate it. Flip it horizontally, which you can also do over here in a range with this flip, flip, flip. So it's exactly symmetrical. Line it up, nice little mouth. Now a couple eyes, dead easy. I could even just go with this one here. Make it a little bit more ovular. Back to style. Put that as color fill. Make that one black as well. Now I can also, in a range, twirl it around a little bit and rotate it to get kind of the same effect. Now that one's kind of smaller. Let's see if we want it smaller like that. I could do like so. Click and drag it over to where it's kind of cuter. He's kind of in line. You see here he's kind of in line with the nose. I'll do the same thing. Command D and flip it. not doing what I expect it to do when I'm flipping it. So I'll just twirl it. A little more. Get that in line with that nose there. There, not bad. So it's basically done now. Now just for the colors. This is the coolest part. Check this out. Make this a little bigger so it's easier to see. If I click on the bear, go back to style. Go to Advanced Gradient Fill. Click on this, and I can actually, with this here, I can choose the same colors. The darker one and the lighter one. Now put it in the center, like so. This should be a little darker, I think. So go over here, make it a little darker. Add one in the center, maybe. So I can zoom it in a bit like it is here. Even move this up like so. Now this one's a different color. So let's do that one with again, advanced gradient fill and get rid of this middle one here. Pew. Click on that. It's gotta be highlighted. Now it's blue. Choose these colors, that one and that one. Again, this one I think needs to be a bit darker. Is it in the center where I want it? Yep, pretty much is. So 
one I want to be a little more on the yellow side, I think. Boom, there we are. That might have been more than two minutes because I was explaining it. But there you are, you've got a cute little character face. If you wanted to, you could go in, make that line a little thicker so it looks a little more similar. Same for down here. And for the mouth, if, and if I tap and then I select, shift, select, I think I can do both at the same time. Boom, there we are, we've got it. I can either command option G to make it one, I can either command, here I can grab it all, command option G to make it one, or I could even command control shift four to make this a picture and then put it right in there. Alpha that out and it's ready to go. There you are, that's it. Let's make our stories.